Log Princess, welcome back. This is a lug haul. It is a mixture of some things that you saw yesterday if you watched the <laughs> massive unboxing of things. Um, but we'll take a better look at things today and the few items that weren't included there. So, first and foremost, I recently got this sprout in walnut. It is already had its haul it came from one of the live show sales and i love the sprout and that was my first walnut item well i like the walnut so much that i decided to get a couple other items in it and i brought this out to compare because it turns out all three walnut pieces that i got have three different interiors i'm more I like consistency and I like this interior. So this one you can see is actually a, a, just a pretty, it's just a neutral, it, it's pretty, it matches, it's good. And then the second item I got because I wanted to try was, I think it's the Airbus. Is that what this is called? I'm sorry, my brain is not operating at full speed yet. But I think this is the Airbus. I bought this actually as a handbag. Oh, the minibus, sorry, minibus. I'm gonna use this as a handbag. Not necessarily like a traveler overnight bag. I think it could definitely do that. But as a large satchel type handbag is what I'm going to use. So interior is like the river walk. It looks like the river walk. And it comes with an insulated pouch, which I already have as well. But these insulated pouches are super great. I love them. They're a great size for snacks or drinks or whatever on the go. But the, the mini bus is great. It has two handles that you can hold you have it has no slip grip on the bottom side and they lay flat when you're not using them it does have a removable adjustable padded crossbody shoulder strap as well so we'll put that on the side and then pocket wise it's got pockets on pockets so this front pocket first thing is chunky zippers this is the only time I've seen this with lug. I'm sure it exists on other bags, but chunky zippers is different. They work just as great, really nice and smooth. This first pocket is a pocket. There's nothing not special, just a pocket. And then right behind it, there's another pocket. And in this one, there are pen slots and a soft lined pocket. So for me, that's my sunglass pocket. And right behind it is the phone pocket, which is, you know, the regular phone pocket. And it's the vertical size one. Let's see, that seemed kind of shallow. Yeah, it is a little short. Now, why, if there's room on the bag to make it deeper, why would it be short? I mean, okay, because it's so wide, maybe it's supposed to be the other, but why? I like the vertical ones, not the horizontal, but whatever. Okay, so it's a horizontal pocket, which is weird because, especially on a bag like this where, okay, there's your strap, right? So vertical makes sense because it's easy in and out, but horizontal, you have to move the strap to get to it. Think about it. Yeah, that's what I think. Okay. Um, yeah, and then there's, it's like a triple compartment bag. You have zipper compartment and then your main middle zipper compartment and then another zipper compartment with a privacy pocket in there so it's pretty basic you know i mean there's not a lot of sub organization doesn't need it though it's i like it for what it is and i can use all my pouches and different things and also has a trolley sleeve on the back so, there it is. Not the best, most organized look at it, and I apologize for that. But my brain is working the way it's working right now. So, I got a mini bus, 
And as you noticed, the interior is not the same. I'm okay with that. I would prefer the other walnut interior. And the third item I got, this was on sales though, but this is another bag I have not tried yet. This is the cable car. So it is a large crossbody shoulder bag. It is kind of like the camper, if you know the camper. I will later do a comparison side by side, but um, it's bigger. It's bigger than the camper. It's taller and I think thicker. But anyway, it has cargo pockets and there is a magnet there, but it doesn't seem to align. And there's one on this side too. So two cargo pockets, which you can use for whatever you want. The inside of this is just a boring tan. That is a little disappointing because two other walnut items with two other patterns and then I got just born. The good thing about this one is that it's light so that it is light inside it's easier to see things so that's good. All right but pockets. This has two zipper pockets on the front. They are pretty plain not just a pocket. It is RFID though. Your second pocket is soft lined. It's a big soft lined pocket. So I guess for me that's sunglasses and phone maybe. I don't know. But then on the back there's another zipper pocket. And this one is just a pocket. And it does not run full length. It's a fairly small pocket. So it's about yay big kind of right in the middle of the bag. All right, but you have a nice wide strap with very generous adjustability on it. And if you like the camper little secret pockets, this has them too. I call it secret pockets because right there where the strap is connected to the bag that's actually open space there and you can see the amount of space that there is so this is a perfect place for me to put my hand sanitizer and or extra masks they just slide right down into that little slot there between the strap and the bag and they don't get in the way of anything and you always know where they are so that's my thing. I, I have an extra mask in one end and I had hand sanitizer in the other end. I haven't used this bag yet, but that's what I did on my camper. So inside we have there's a zipper pocket with mesh and it does have its own gusset so it has a little extra space there. And next to it you have double slip. So you have a regular slip that is soft lined. In front of it, you have another slip that's not soft lined, but there's two pen slots in inside of it right there. So you can kind of see that. But this one is soft lined in the back. So maybe that's my sunglasses and I'll leave my phone outside. On the front of the bag, there is another privacy pocket and there is a key clip. It's just the nubby one, not a bungee, and no key fob. I think it would have been nice if it came with a key fob, since it would make sense. But there you go. So that is that. And then the rest of the items we already saw yesterday, but didn't really get a good look at. So let's take a look at what else I got. Um, with the walnut order, I did also order a coin purse in camo black. Or, this says lily teal. Obviously, that's not the color it is. That's really funny. Huh. Oopsie. But I got what I ordered, which was the camo black. But I bought it because I'd rather buy an extra $12 coin pouch than pay freaking shipping. That's silly, I know. But... This is now a perfect gift for the gentleman that helped watch my dog last week. So him and his daughter are getting lug <laughs> as a thank you. Yeah, why not? So next, I got a Tango and a Tango 2. 
Honestly, I don't know the difference between them. I They look the same to me. I'm sure that if my brain were in higher functioning level right now, I would find the differences. But these are my two. I did not need a Tango, but I have all the travel stuff that I got in my neck pillow and my blanket and everything in the Flamingo Black. So I got a Tango to go with that. Um, it has this elastic strap. You got a slot right here to put your, like for me, that's where I keep my boarding pass or something quick access that I'm not gonna like lose. Inside, you have several things. You have another like slot so you can put your other boarding passes or like when I'm going on a cruise, I can have all my cruise documents in there too and my passport and something else there and then you can have a few of your key cards that you want handy and you got this zipper mesh pouch so you can put stuff in there and then also you have another big zipper that goes behind the whole thing to put more so you can use one for cash one for coins you've got a slip as well behind there and you have an elastic for a pen right in the middle so this has like slots everywhere. There's slots behind slots and it's great. I like it a lot. And comparing the two side by side, they look the same to me. I, I think really the same. I mean, really, I don't know the difference. It's something minute. But there it is in the Waves Navy. So you got the red, white, and blue stripes that goes with it. It's a little more interesting. But, so there we go. One card and one thing. So, I needed none and I got two. All right, that's okay. Because I like to matchy-matchy and I like to travel, so okay. And I got a jib to go with my Waves Navy stuff. The Waves Navy stuff all goes back to the Aerial and Nautical Navy, which is huge, so it needs all these little pieces inside of it. And I'm hoping to get the Apollo as well. I, I'm on the wait list. All right, next we got two Ranger 2s. I don't know the difference between the Ranger and the Ranger 2. I haven't even used my Ranger yet. <laughs> it's another story. But looking at the Ranger 2s, I've got Star Shells Navy and Dragonfly Purple. Because I love purple um, and because I love this pattern. So inside the Ranger, you have the big front pocket, which has got the chevron quilting on it. You have a clear ID window and four additional card slots. You also have a key bungee in there. And this pocket is RFID, so great place. Whether you're using the built-in wallet function or putting your own wallet in there, it is RFID, so that's great. And then you have your main pocket, which of course opens up very nicely. And it's full of things. We got cards, we got silica pouches, got a handle that is removable, adjustable strap. You have a big cargo, and then in the front, uh, opposite that, you have the clear plastic window, which of course is there, but below it, you got two cargo pockets down there. And behind there, you have also another zipper pocket. Yeah. So that's the inside. And then you have one more pocket on the back. Let me put all this stuff back in here. On the, the back of it, you have one more zipper pocket right there. And it has two pen slots. This all seems just like the regular Ranger, so I don't, I don't really know what changed. I'll have to get back to you on that. Um, if I figure it out, I'll put it in the remarks. 
down below, but probably I'm not figuring anything out. Right, right, I'll be honest. But there's the phone pocket. So to me, okay, these newer bags, they, they feel, um, I don't wanna say cheaper, but they don't feel like quite the same quality of my previous. I don't know how else to describe it. I mean, they are, but they're not. I don't know. Maybe it's because I've been touching the brush. I don't know. Anyway, moving right along. We've got two flippers. These are great. Or um, flash. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Whew. It's good to be alive. I'll tell you what. Um, two flashes. I have a bunch of flashes already. I definitely did not need these, but I am all about matchy matchy or mixy matchy. So since I have some big colorful bags, I got the Star Shells Navy to go with it. And it has the inside is that light striping, which you won't see very well on this item because it has the foam storage in there. But it is a very, useful bag for just about anything you can fit in there. Perfect travel companion. Everybody needs a flash or two, or I have six. Yeah, you know, because you might need more than one. And of course I had to get the bloom black because blue black. And I like the pattern placement. I got all the colors, more of the blues on the back, but I got, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> The Via 2! I do love convertible bags and I love Bloom Black. And so I had to get the Via 2. I have several Via 2s, but I like them. And so I got another one because it came out in Bloom Black. Yay, lug. <laughs> well done. You keep sucking me in for more. Um, so you have your pocket on pocket, your big pocket on the bottom. This is um, pretty simple. It does have two pen slots here that are oriented sideways and otherwise it's just a straight pocket and it is not RFID but that's all right you got your phone pocket on the top you got your cargo strap on the back your backpack straps then your loops which can get tucked in as well so then they hide when you're not using them There's just a little, they tuck under, and they stay tucked pretty well. And then the top, the thing about the Via versus the other, like the Puddle Jumper, is you have that doctor bag opening. So you have that framed top that opens up really, really nicely. And inside you have the soft lined cargo pocket in the back. And you have your clear view pocket in the front. It's half clear view and half not. One zipper across. And that is RFID. So there you go. And then the bottom has a flip down um, semi-rigid piece. So you can see there the size of the base of the bag. It's quite a it's quite a good size bag. And it has feet, but doesn't have that plastic bottom. It just has the feet. So when you're not using it, you can fold that bottom up and it will lay flat like that for storage. And I got a stocking and this is cranberry. Um, in comparison, I kept calling the Metro cranberry, that's why. But the, the Metro I got was rosewood, so it's a different color. But I only got one of these because I don't really need any more stockings at all. But I wanted to have a lug stocking, so I got one lug stocking in the most Christmassy color that they had. I may get more, but right now, that's all. Now, this is the new mask, the Softline Face Cover pocket face cover, three masks and three pouches, and these are adult size. And I'm gonna open this. Just so you I got this one specifically because I wanted the blue and black. 
And I thought, well, these pouches, they're going to be useful for other things. I got to. I kind of wish they had a little zipper on the pouch because that would just be so perfect. Um, but it does have a little elastic loop so I can hook it onto things, either as a mask or as other things. Um, but there's the mask. The mask is a soft material. And I don't think it matters top or bottom. Maybe pattern-wise you could pick. You got the slot to put your interior filter if you want to add that. But let's see. It's adjustable. So it's very comfortable. This is much, much more breathable than the previous masks, I would say. But definitely very comfortable. So good coverage. Um, under the chin, over the nose. I don't wear glasses, but I do wear sunglasses. So we'll see how that breathes, but it does have silicone adjusters on that. So that's nice, but then you have the pouch and you can turn the pouch inside out and it says, wash me. So it's a way to keep track, like if you have trouble <laughs> which mask you need to wash, um, you just put it in there and you could wash the the mask and the thing together. Anyway, that's really cool. I really want zippers on these. <laughs> I might put zippers on them, but right now they are, they're great, just like that. So you fold up your mask and you put it in its pouch and I got balloon black. I've got wildflower black, which I also like. And lily black, which I also like. I'm trying not to branch out too much because I'm going to need a lot of it. But right now, I have just that. So we got those. And then I finally got my Wildflower Multi packing cubes. I didn't need any more packing cubes, but I like packing cubes a lot. I even can store my lug in them when I'm not using them for travel. I don't think these will get used that way, but. Okay, so three sizes. You got two that are pretty close to the same size, maybe even are the same size. They have handles on the ends, which I like a lot that they have a handle. So there you go. They all have, they have double zipper. Where's the zippers? Yes. They do. They all have double zippers. So that's nice. Nice mesh top and the big one, of course, is a great size. There. And zip it all up. The double zippers are great. Very nice, smooth, great hardware. Where's the handle on this one? On the end. Okay. I think the handle should be on the back, but that's okay. It has a handle. So there you go. And then you can fold it up and store it. Like that. That's how I'm gonna store. And lastly, I got bento boxes. I do love bento boxes. I have several of them already, but I did not have the Heather ones. And you know I love Heather, so I got the Heather. So these are insulated actually, and they have the wipeable plastic. So you can use them as like a lunch box. They're a great storage box, craft box, things like that. I've got a whole bunch of new craft stuff for my aunt for diamond painting. So I'm going to put these to use pretty, pretty straight away. Um, this one is in Heather Gray. This is the largest one. They all have double zippers. Uh, wait, is that true? All, no. The upper two sizes have double zippers. The smallest has a single zipper but they all have handles. I like the handles, because then I could grab my thing and do whatever with it. So this one is in gray, this one is in indigo, the small piece. This is perfect for using in my, like my mini puddle jumper three, I can use it as a thing in there. And then I have the walnut one, which I newly have bags to use it with. So I'm very happy about that. I kind of wish that I could get a full set in each of the colors, like 
uh, all three sizes in the gray, all three sizes in the indigo. I don't really need it, but I kind of wish I could. <laughs> because then I could go full on matchy matchy. I don't really need to do that. Okay, enough babbling. That is the bento boxes and they all store together nicely and they are great, great, great. So that is it for this log haul. I, I did a little bit of rambling, sorry. But hopefully you got a good look at everything better than the other day and I hope you're doing well and staying safe and happy and healthy. Happy holidays. Bye for now.